Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will be nervous this morning as Donald Trump has declared victory in the 2024 US presidential election. The BBC is currently projecting that Donald Trump has secured 266 electoral college votes in the race against Democratic rival Kamala Harris, just four shy of the 270 required to win the keys to the Oval Office. The likely president-elect has previously spoken out about Prince Harry's visa row, saying he would take appropriate action over questions the Duke of Sussex lied on his application about recreational drug use. This comes after the Heritage Foundation questioned the Duke of Sussex's visa in court after Harry admitted in his memoir spare that he had in the past taken drugs, including cocaine, marijuana, and psychedelic mushrooms. The revelation led to anger from the Washington-based think tank, who believe Harry's visa to live in the country was treated differently to that of ordinary citizens, with some people being banned from entering the country if they are found to have been drug users presently or in the past. Now Trump has been elected concerns have been raised over whether Harry will be able to continue living in the country. Former President Donald Trump, who is bidding for a return to the White House in the November 5th US election, previously hinted he could deport Harry if he is re-elected, warning the Duke of Sussex he will not protect him like Joe Biden. He told Daily Express US, I wouldn't protect him. He betrayed the Queen. That's unforgivable. He would be on his own if it was down to me. Royal expert Phil Dampier told The Sun, this has been going on for about two years now. The Heritage Foundation, which is a think tank in Washington, has really got their teeth into this I think they feel that Prince Harry has been treated differently from other people who have applied for visas to stay in the States.